Mitt takes a turn away from his traditional art, which is usually in bright spaces with very vibrant colors. And this reflects a long-standing concept of Mitt Jae-in that began with the Midnight University in Chiang Mai back in the 1990s, where he was thinking about bringing people together in the dark as a space where we can actually commune with each other as equals instead of being under the hierarchy of the sky. When we first enter the exhibition, our eyes plunged into darkness, but slowly over time, our eyes can learn to adjust. So Mitt Jae-in in this exhibition is giving visitors a new power to be able to see in the dark. This is the literal physical dark, but also the metaphorical darkness of living under a censorship regime where the people are kept in the dark. We have information blackouts for certain topics. As we emerge from that tunnel space, we encounter these individual works of art in six chambers. The vertical slits that Michayin usually uses for his fabric curtains and tunnel spaces all of a sudden become prison bars. And as we enter into these chambers, we become close and intimate with these sculptures that are the size of humans. Now some visitors have also described them as alien. And where I'm standing right now is what I like to call the party room, where all of the different sculptures can come together in an open space, where we can actually speak face to face with other visitors and the colors that might represent different political factions or different symbols in Thai culture and history are also coming together, where now the sculptures can cast their light onto us as visitors, onto each other, and we can be in communion underground and plan towards an alternative future.